Three days ago, this whole thing here was passed. It's the Federal Reserve's website, the FedNow program. It's their central bank digital currency, the foundation for it. And right now they're saying it's just for instant payment type of thing. It's not really a central bank digital currency. It's not going to replace the dollar. Of course, they eventually will, and they say it in their own video. I'll show that in this. But I got to thinking about this last night, and I was thinking about the Great Depression, what happened with the run on the banks. Well, back in the Great Depression, 1929, the stock market crashing and all that, um, the stock market crashed, and people panicked, and they went to the bank, and they said, I want my money. Well, the banks were spending the people's money, so they didn't have all of the money there, and pretty soon they ran out of money. It's called a run on the banks. And so they had to close down. So there were a lot of people that lost all of their money. But what was really going on back then is people were using paper currency. Well, today, if you know anything at all about the modern banking system, it's still the same thing of what's called fractional reserve banking. In other words, they only keep a small portion of your money in the bank. You put a dollar into the bank, and they will literally find a way to spend it. Uh, my wife just got a book not long ago from uh, the American Banking Association or something. She found it at a used bookstore, and they literally were saying, if we get a dollar, we need to find a way to lend that out. I'm not joking. One dollar. So... The banks here in America take people's money and they spend it. That's why if you go into the bank and you say, I need $10,000 in cash or something like that, you know, to buy a car off of Craigslist or some other thing, the people require cash. The bank will panic and we don't have that kind of cash. We don't know what to do. All right. Um, so they don't have the paper currency there. There's no little box with your name on it that has all of your cash in it. All right. That's not the way it works. So we have already have a digital currency, um, or you know, digital transactions, I, I'll say it that way. There's still cash, which is a good thing, but um, something major to think about here. But the point I'm trying to make is, I was thinking about this, and I thought, first Great Depression, they stole the people's money, and it was paper money back then. Um, and I got to thinking about it this time, and I thought, we know that they don't have the cash in the bank right now. So your money is it's basically just digits on a computer screen. But I got to thinking about that and I thought, how could they steal the money from the American people when the dollar crashes and, and things? Would there be a way that they could steal it? What if they had a new system that was just put in place this past Thursday? It's the 23rd today. Um, on the 20th is when it was uh, released. What if they could find a way to instantly transfer money from one bank to another? Hmm. It says here, the FedNow service is a new instant payment infrastructure developed by the Federal Reserve that allows financial institutions of every size across the U.S. to provide safe and efficient instant payment services. You see, it's payment. It's payment. It's not transfer. Yes, it is. We'll see about that here in a minute. Through financial institutions participating in the FedNow service, business and individuals can send and receive instant payments in real time around the clock every day of the year. Financial institutions and their service providers can use the service to provide innovative instant payment services to customers and recipients will have full access to funds immediately, allowing for greater financial flexibility when making time-sensitive payments. The FedNow service will be deployed in phases with the initial launch taking place July 2023 three days ago on the 20th. The video below follows a payment over the FedNow service from start to finish, highlighting what financial institutions need to know about their role in the process. The first release of the FedNow service will provide baseline functionality that will support market needs for a range of use cases, including those growing in demand such as account to account, account to account, transfers, and bill pay. Huh. So you're saying, it, in other words here, that uh, they could actually transfer your funds out of one bank to another. See, in the past, a bank robber, I mean a bank president, um, they would have to take the actual cash and run. But now, push the button. Just click the mouse. Boom. Transfer. Or with your phone or whatever, you'd use your finger or whatever else. Pretty incredible. But this thing is going to lead to the mark of the beast. I'm telling you that right now. It's Bible prophecy. 
right? If you're not familiar with the passage, passage of Scripture, I will go there really quickly. Revelation chapter 13. 13 is the number of cursing in the Bible, like the cursed thing, in other words. Revelation 13, verse 16, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. We are seeing the birth of this movement right here. Okay, now listen to what is said in this video, and they will tell you that there are future technologies coming. This is just the first phase, the first release, where you can see right there. Okay, just the first phase, but they have new phases coming. That's why we have to resist this stuff. Okay, it's in the Bible, it's prophecy, it will eventually come in the future, but we have to fight it. Okay, you say, well, then you're fighting against God. No, what we're doing is we are hindering the system. And waking people up, telling people about this thing. Because if you just say, oh, well, whatever, it's prophesied, it'll come in. Then people just think, oh, well, nobody really fought against it, so I guess it's okay. And they could implement this system of central bank digital currencies far before the Mark of the Beast system comes in. Uh, as the body of Christ, we need to fight the Antichrist system um, and hinder them uh, up until the time the Lord catches us home. Okay, so let's... Listen to what's said here in this video. ...of FedNow capabilities, or sign on as a receive-only participant. The initial launch of the FedNow service will focus on core clearing and settlement capabilities. Additional features will be released in phases to meet evolving industry demands and changes in technology. To meet an evolving industry demands and changes in technology. Hmm. Changes in technology. We'll be coming out with new ones. Uh, what's all this stuff down in here that's blurred and you can't see it? Um, oh boy, uh, pretty bad stuff. I would suggest that you get your money out of the bank as much as possible. Um, buy things, physical wealth like uh, gold, silver, platinum, things like that. Uh, be very careful about just leaving all your money in the bank. And, of course, have things like food as well and other things that you might need in the future. Um, clothing and, and things, you know, food and raiment, like the Bible says, to be content with that. Um, I'd be very, very careful about having all of your money in the banking system because they can now instantly transfer it. So uh, they want to take down more banks as the dollar is collapsing here in this country. They can instantly transfer all of your funds to some other bank in Switzerland or something like that. Pretty crazy. So um, uh, the infrastructure, I'll just say this, for this uh, crypt, this uh, not cryptocurrency, but the um, central bank digital currency, say it that way, the infrastructure is not there. Um, it's not some kind of a thing that they're going to be able to just flip the switch and everybody can now just use digital currency. There's a lot of things that are cash-based in our economy. So it's going to take some time for them to, you know, implement their system. But I just got to thinking about this and I thought, for them to really bring in a central bank digital currency, they're going to need some kind of a major crisis to happen. And they now have the ability to instantly transfer your funds in the bank, and mine as well, um, transfer, just boom, to some other place, to another bank. Um, just insane. Uh, pray about it and fight it as uh, as well as you can. Okay, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.